PowerPoint is an application designed to aid presentation. You can use it to develop professional looking manual or electronic presentations. PowerPoint was developed by Robert Gaskins and, David, and Dennis Austin, Panda for Thoughts Incorporated, a software development company in April 1987. In July 1987, Microsoft acquired PowerPoint and it became an important part of its office applications. In 1989 and 1990, Microsoft bundled PowerPoint in its Office Productivity Suite for Macintosh and Windows, respectively. The market share of PowerPoint grew steadily from its inception till 1997, when it stood at 85%. However, with the rise of Google Apps and other presentation software, the market share has declined. PowerPoint is part of the applications that make up the Microsoft Office Suite. It is a slideshow presentation program. Presentation apps are used for overhead projection during lectures, seminars, and reporting. It usually contains the summary of detailed information being conveyed in slides. PowerPoint app has text, images, and other elements that enhance the creation of manual presentations. In addition, it has animations transitions, and cinematic motions that aid professionally designed electronic presentations. PowerPoint was initially designed to aid group presentations in organizations, but today the usage has exploded. Microsoft PowerPoint presentation incorporates many elements, tools, and commands that make it an effective presentation program. As a result, religious bodies, corporate organizations, businesses, and institutions can use it in various ways. Some of the uses of PowerPoint today include the following. Projected presentations. PowerPoint was first created as a projected presentation program. It is still useful for such purpose today. You can create slides for project defense, seminars, business proposals, reporting, etc., and project them from your device to a larger screen for your immediate audience. Tutorial Creation Program PowerPoint presentation is used as an educational tool for creating tutorials. Topic summaries are covered in different slides and, and presented to students. It all it also allows you to use voiceover and audio for students that are not within your immediate reach. Sharing presentations online. It can also be used to share presentations online in real time. To achieve this, you will share a link to your presentation with your colleagues. They will connect to your presentation via the link as you make it available to them in real time. Creation to create presentation handouts. PowerPoint presentation app allows you to create and print your presentation as a handout. In the absence of a projector, you can print your slides and distribute them to your audience. The downside of this is that the audience must be present while you give detail of the slice content. <clears throat> Sorry, the audience must be around while you give detail of the slice content. <clears throat> Digital portfolio and slideshow. PowerPoint can be used to create a photo slideshow. It has a tool that allows you to embed background music that plays as the slides play. You can as well use it as a presentation portfolio to depict your organization's information, expertise, and jobs. It can be used in your company's reception to display the image of the organization to the public. Autoplay and limited objects. With its animation and transition capabilities, PowerPoint can be used to create autoplay effects. You can add music, 
and video to the slice with other animated objects that will play on its own. With these elements in place, you don't need to be present to control the start and the finish of the animated objects. In conclusion, PowerPoint is a slideshow presentation program used for overhead projection and slideshow. It conveys summary of information in slides. It also contains placeholders that enhance the creation of presentations. It has animation and transition effects, which helps you to create autoplay effects. There are many uses of PowerPoint presentation, which we have analyzed within this tutorial. As we come to the end of the tutorial, I, pre I am pleading with you to please subscribe, comment, and also wait for the next video, which will come very shortly. Thank you for your time.